replace every planet in our solar system with Earth clones and see how many stay habitable. All right, let's replace each planet with an exact copy of Earth. Each clone has the same size, same atmosphere, and same oceans as our Earth. Now let's run the simulation for a couple of years and see which ones survive. The Mercury Earth is completely scorched. Its oceans have boiled away as temperatures reached past 300 degrees Celsius, just a barren wasteland now. The Venus Earth suffered almost the same fate. A runaway greenhouse effect turned it into another dead world, where water vapor trapped more and more heat. Meanwhile, our original Earth position stays perfect, the only truly habitable world. The Mars Earth has frozen over. At minus 33 degrees Celsius, its oceans are solid ice, and it's become a true snowball Earth, where even the equator is frozen solid. The outer gas giant Earths are far worse. These planets get less than 4% of Earth's sunlight. Their oceans froze solid within weeks. Temperatures dropped so low that gases like nitrogen and oxygen began to freeze out of the atmosphere. These are dead, frozen worlds. Out of eight Earth clones in our solar system, only one stays habitable. The Goldilocks zone is smaller than most people think. 